Ashi. Here we go again. Hey everybody, before we get started, I just wanted to say, if you enjoy our content and want to stay up to date with our videos, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Thanks. So, on to the video. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Random Drop. And this week, we unfortunately have to talk about World of Warcraft. I know, I'm sorry. A little bit of history of me. Uh, I've played WoW since vanilla. Come off and on. Probably quit. You know, I played shit ton until beginning of Kata. Then I, I quit, came back here there for like a week or a month or two per expansion. Probably played Legion the most. I played Legion quite a bit actually. And I think I mainly focused on PvP. But I quit, played Legion quite a bit. BFA came out, fell off. Shadowlands came off and fell off. And in the meantime, I fell in love with Final Fantasy XIV in the back. Um, it, it's an incredible MMO that I, I dearly love. Sadly, I don't really play it as much. Uh, as lately because it's very raid focused at the end right and I just never built up a new static so at this time hey I'm taking a break on it and I'm gonna come back uh, next expansion and hit it hard again right that leaves me with why I'm fucking here to begin with right so hey I had nothing played it for a couple weeks there was a new wow patch and I started playing retail for the new season enjoyed myself right like I think Dragonflight's a very good expansion I I've cleared the raid uh, I've cleared all the raids at this point on normal and good chunks of heroic and, and I think Dragonfly is super solid but it doesn't I'm there to hit the buttons and do the great gameplay and only so many weeks of mythic plus and the raids kind of can keep you there because I really don't collect care about collectibles or any of that shit the world no longer grabs me like it used to I mean well like in 14 I want to collect everything I want to see every story quest all that right but that's my current state of where I'm at with MMOs but here comes Hardcore, and then I played the classic re-release when it came out. I played it, I played it back in 2004, so I leveled for up to like level 40, then quit, because I was like, man, it's the same fucking game. And I, I think classic is a bad game in general. All right, I don't think it's actually fun to play. I understand the, why people like it and the pacing. As someone who loves Final Fantasy XI, I think there is a... I think there's a place in the world for a game that is paced this way. Paced like a Final Fantasy XI. And paced like World of Warcraft Classic. Not everything needs to be this fucking crazy, like, high skill, hyperactive MMO, bullet hell dodging. No, sometimes, man, maybe just you just need some knowledge and know-how. Some, you know, mechanical ability of doing mechanics, right? And then you can scale that as the tier difficulties go in the game, right? But at, at the base level... Knowledge is what will carry you through most of these games. Again, Final Fantasy XI and Classic being two huge examples, right? And the advent of Hardcore even proves that even more, that the more knowledge you have, the further it will carry. And then from there, from the knowledge, then you can be like, hey, the knowledge of how my class works and what gear items I need to upgrade and look for. And that all helps and builds the player, but in a more... I guess mental way I would describe it, right? It's not about like doing this crazy ass rotation. Sometimes, man, you're just gonna hit Shadow Bolt, and that Shadow Bolt feels real good. And and I think uh, so. Like I didn't, I I I get the love for the pace of this type of game, but sadly, Classic is people figured it out, man. And Classic is like you go through, you gear up, and the, most of the fun is the journey of leveling and upgrading and getting there. But once you're at the end, <laughs> the raids like fucking fall over at 30 seconds because they're min max to hell. You're doing so much damage that the bosses don't do their mechanics, right? Hardcore added another layer where upgrades felt a lot more important because you only have one life. So when you're making an attempt at something, you want to make sure you're fully prepared. And they added this really great dynamic to, <laughs> man, this world is really dangerous and, I, and, and made knowledge so much more important. But again, the gameplay was still, I think, not there. But I think uh, there is, again, room for a hardcore. But not everyone wants to do that. Not everyone wants to potentially invest hours and hours into a character, die, the friends lived, and the people are just like, man, I can't commit two more months of my life to like catch up to y'all. I'm sorry. Right? Like, some people just don't have that time. And for the people who do, it's great. And they're having a blast. 
but that's kind of where I'm at personally, right? I, I, I played hardcore. I'm like level 30 something and slowed down on a bit, but I was having fun, but I was having fun because of the danger and the, the seeking of gear upgrades and how once a day dungeons worked, right? I would knock out a couple dungeons a day, get some gear and then like log off. So that all brings me to here. Season of Discovery. Season of Discovery is, I would, it feels like a beta test or like a, the testing, it is very much a testing of idea because that's why they didn't just go full blown all the way 60 with it. They're like, hey, let's block it off at 25 and let's try some shit. And they're trying things. My biggest gripe with Classic was that there's classes that literally were useless or there's no point or they were a meme. And it, it seriously needed like just one more pass through on balance. They didn't need to be the best classes in the world. They didn't <laughs> need to like, it didn't need to be 100% perfect balance, but some of these classes just needed a little bit of something, right? Just a little bit more to push them over to be like, relevant and make you happy to play them so that's like rep paladins your boomkins uh like disc pre shadow pre right those classes that kind of like fell to the background and found their places in tbc and sod very much feels like the burning crusade gameplay but at lower level so it's like hey i'm playing the burning crusade worrying about accuracy caps and hit rating and and very much looking at my stats and then bringing it down to level 25 there's aoe tanking now and 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 very important buffs with like the feral wind furies and the the hunter kings so it, it it's a it's a very fun idea i really want to see where this game goes and if you're someone who's never played world of warcraft before and the original classic is a little too old for you i think this is a good starting point it bring a friend who's never played before. I've actually brought a couple friends who've never played WoW before or played very little, and then they're enjoying their time in SOD. Because it's one, one, it's very popular right now. Everyone's playing it, right? Obviously. But it's also like a game. It's like WoW Classic Remix or WoW. I mean, it's Classic Plus, right? That, that's what everyone's saying. But it's it's like the last pass through of like, hey, I'm the, vis I'm the designer of this game. I let this out 20 years ago. What if I like looked at it one more time? Okay, I have this crazy idea for this rune system. Let's implement it. And that, that's SOD. Uh, there's a lot of incredible and new little flourishes in the game, right? That, m uh, that help with the class fantasy in the game, right? So the things like the priests getting different buffs, uh, depending on what kind of graves and churches they pray at. Uh, some of the, how the quests work with some of the runes where druids uh my friend louise had a druid run where he had to heal friendly animals uh to get the ability so we we're running around uh, uh asking druids to turn into bear form and, and healing them right can you switch to bear form real quick please no he's gonna be like why wow, you why yeah we some kind of fairy <laughs> <laughs> it's her druid quest Gate? <laughs> oh yeah, you think you have a bear fetish? Oh, there, there, there. Yeah. You went to Halson? And it's really, and it was really fun because like the whole community was kind of like in on it. They're like, "What the fuck is this guy asking me to go to bear?" Okay, sure. And he's like, "Is this for a rune?" He's like, "Yeah." Uh, the the rogue pickpocketing stuff. How like on one of them they have to go to Shadowfang Peak Keep and like do some pickpocketing thing and and sneak through there. Uh, with shaman the purging and cleansing of spirits and that in itself giving you runes and abilities there's in terms of like class fantasy there's a lot of nice touches and it's enough to be like oh this is this is a neat idea it's it, it, it's a something like hey I, i'm really interested in what they will build because currently the game is only 25 levels you're going to be seeing dead mines, swaling caverns, and fucking Shadowfang keep a lot before you end up in BFD as you're trying to get your best gear possible to go into the raid. And then BFD will be your main content, but that's you can only do that once every three days, right? So a lot of the focus is on PvP after that. And <laughs> knowing WoW's uh, history, it's going to be a little hit and miss with the servers. So I I've enjoyed the world PvP as in just like bumping into people on my server. And, and it's been a fun, good time, right? Uh, going back and forth in Hillsbrad again and all that stuff. It's awesome. I haven't touched too much of the Ashen Vale PvP. It seems like a Zerg fest, but 
yeah, I'll get more into it. But really, like, this mainly focuses on the PvE content and the overall feeling of SOD, right? SOD is very light on content. You're gonna finish this, pound through it, and you're gonna take a break. And I think that's kind of fine. I, I think that they're... The classic team is using... They're being very vocal, by the way, the classic team. They're responding to a lot of feedback. Uh, and, and it's been really, really great. Uh, they're making changes and updates because there's some abilities that are just, like, fucking broken. Uh, but that was that was the whole thing, right? When they when they announced this, we knew that was going to happen. We knew that there's just going to be weird shit. But, man, we've played classic a million times. Let's try some weird shit. Let's do different things. BFD raid? Sure. Oh, wait. We may get a Nomergen raid at level 40. Awesome. So, right now, at its state, at the... the SOD is a very smart idea and I'm very much playing it because I want to see what comes next because the very like solid the, the very the current class gameplay and and the options you have are great but again it's still you're only level 25 you're missing like half your toolkit still so I really want to see how this game expands and moves forward and hopefully they add some new dungeons and stuff because like you compare like the RFK or Shadow Fang and all that to the current new BFD and it's <laughs> it's night and day right it's 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 a modern design dungeon to a fucking 20 year old ass dungeon so I, I re I'm really interested to see where this game goes with that stuff right but at the end of the day yeah man it, it, it's still classic uh, still long travel times uh no summoning stones right it is you're very much in that world and on that journey but the, how that journey is going to be paced out is going to be a little weird but at least like your buttons will feel better and your class, you're going to have a lot more options in the class. And the fact that you're coming into this with a lot of people not knowing what's the best yet, not having played all the classes, some runes taking a couple days to find. And maybe there's still some more secrets we don't know about, but that's the exciting part that it, it is not resolved. And eventually it will be <laughs> once we have enough weeks into this level 25 shit, but then a new thing will be added, right? And I'm really interested to see how expansive that new stuff at is because the the new stuff they currently added is they added a lot of stuff, but it's mainly on the class design front and the, the little spices of class fantasy, right? That's kind of where most of the stuff was added and then end game at 25 and the new raid. But in terms of like everything else in the world, it, it, it's still classic, right? But every now and then you bump into something, you're like, what the fuck is that thing? You'll read its debuff and realize it's probably for a hunter. Or a priest probably needs to dispel that. Or a shaman needs to purge it. And that's cool. It, it, it's cool to bump into that stuff and be like, oh, wow, that's new. I think SOD is a great first impression to this. Again, they're so weird because they won't double down and say this is classic plus. But it does prove that they're trying, they're willing to try weird shit with classic and this format. So our hope is by the end of this, by the, by the end of this journey, by the end that they're like, hey, we're at the end of this classic journey. It's time to add actual new content and let's make some new content with the design philosophies of classic WoW with added some modern design to the line philosophies in terms of like some boss design, class design, things like that. Mix this too and keep that feel feeling right. Again, we were what people are looking for is this similarly paced game, but more of it and some weird shit, right? Like, we, we want to just play more classic, and we don't really need a theme park MMO where you're guaranteed to see everything, and there's dopamine XP popping off, and bullet hell dodges constantly. A slower-paced game is fine, and you're not necessarily asking people to log in every day, but once they get immersed in that world, just like the original classic, they, they want to come back. They want to see, they want to learn new things, right? They want to learn about that item that was given off in that level five quest that you could throw on a boss and make him miss 25% for 10 seconds and shit. And like, it's the only item in the game. So you hold on. They want that stuff. They, they want you to try things, do weird shit with it and, and bring some mystery to the game. And my hope is that this first phase is laying the groundwork. Like, hey, okay, we got the gameplay set up. It's time to add some dungeons, baby. It's time to add some new loot. Let's add some new mechanics. And let's rock. So, hey, that's how I feel about SOD at this time. I am pretty much at the end at this point on it. But I'll probably level here a character here and there. And, and then I'll come back once the next set of levels are added. And I'll have fun going through that again. And going through some old zones that I haven't seen in a while. 
with the little twists. And I'm super excited. Leave a comment below, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, hey, are you a WoW player? Are you currently playing SOD? Are you playing hardcore? How do you feel about the whole thing in general and where MMOs are at, right? Do you prefer a fast paced MMO where like there's a high skill ceiling and, and loot grind like retail? Or do you prefer something slower paced like class, like Final Fantasy XI? Because I kind of like both actually. And I think there's room for that stuff. This is Adrian from my channel Random Drop. I will see you next time.